hello, hello, you beautiful people. We hope everybody had a fantastic week this week. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jen from City Living with a Country Heart. I am a mom of two kiddos and we homeschool. And on this channel, we bake. We try our recipes just to see if we can bring a little bit of homemade into our home. And uh, if I could talk today, we, we have had a week, let me tell you. We, well, probably about a week and a half. Um, we came down with just a... a a snotty snotty virus as you can see all the the medicine that <laughs> that we had so we definitely did not taste out this recipe we tried it out ourselves um, I we already did make it I'm kind of filming the intro um, just wanted to feel a little bit better <laughs> before I showed my face on camera but this is what we made this is Giada's um, new it's a banana bread brownie recipe that's also vegan and um, uh, gluten-free you hear Holden in the background <laughs> um, so we tried it we loved it um, I was kind of like mm, I don't really see the brownie in it um, but after it cooled completely and did all the things I can definitely see um, how this is such a delectable little sweet treat a little bit on the healthier side as well with the sugar content which I really liked it was just like a tablespoon of sugar um, I really really do enjoy this recipe um, it is something that I will totally give to my kids um, for breakfast or just a little treat super super easy no, to make no, which no. I love if they if, if this shakes it's holding at the bottom he's probably gonna um, jiggle the um, the tripod here you want to come up <laughs> hello there he is and I do apologize for the long intro as well um, but oh here comes Gracie so again if, if this shakes you know we we're, we're a crazy family over here um, so this was super super easy we were so Hello. under the weather this week and it literally oh, took us no time to make this which was amazing um so not only does it taste good is it health on the healthier side um you know and has you know food preference friendly type little treat um for yourselves and it actually came out wonderful plus it's organic um hey that's my hair don't you don't want to do that hey you stop that so let's just get into the video you guys can see the process of, the process of us making it and we yeah. hope you enjoy it was pretty interesting and i loved how it had very low sugar content it's only a tablespoon of sugar and then we are going to be using these organic semi-sweet the recipe does call for bittersweet i don't have um bittersweet but i have these semi-sweet um organic um chocolate chips and they're also free from eight different eight major food allergens and there's no artificial colors or flavors so we figured we would give this a try and fingers crossed that it comes out amazing so in this bowl we are going to be mixing while well, mashing some three ripe bananas this one's not as ripe as this, these but that's okay some almond butter which we have here this was the only thing we had to actually buy. We had all the other ingredients, which was nice. Um, and then we have coconut oil, almond milk, sugar, and salt. And we're going to whisk that all together. I've already done my mom hack here. And that has, let me just see, three quarters of a cup of almond, ouch, of almond flour. Um, and as for a quarter of a cup of quick oats, I don't have quick oats. I just have the old-fashioned oats. Um, and then, what else did I put in here? Oh, and then baking powder. Put in a teaspoon of baking powder. Give that a shake. Sugar. Shake a shake a shake So we're just going to go ahead and mix up our wet ingredients. Then fold in our dry ingredients. Together to make something. Yay, something yummy. A nice treat. And something new. And something new. I thought this was pretty cool, so I'm gonna and try it out. And something new. And something that would make us. Is it even healthy? Uh, yes. I would say that this is healthy. I would. Yep. Do you want to help me peel these? Yeah, I want to peel this one. Okay. So we're just gonna peel and then put these in the bowl here. I don't like it. Okay. Look at that. What? <laughs> but that's all sugar. All that. That's just all sugar. That's all it is. That's what's going to make this a sweet treat without all the actual sugar. But I this still don't like it being rotten. Right. I know. I still don't like it being rotten, right though. It's all right. 
you're still doing a good job, which is great. Okay, can you step down just so I can get a fork? Okay. Cool, thank you. I want one too. Okay. I want a fork. Good. Okay. I want the fork. And then can you take that fork and can you mash those? Yes, yes, yes. Cool, thank you. Good job. Let's get this part off. Ew, uh -huh. All right, ready? Can Mama have a go? Oh, good thing we're not serving this to anybody. Why? <laughs> because you just coughed on it. Good thing we're the only ones eating it. Huh. Oh, my little baby. I hope you feel better soon. Mm -hmm. We've been at this cold for a while, huh? Crazy pants. All right, so we're mashing. We're making this all happy. Now, in the recipe, it did say just to use a fork. I did pull out my uh, mixer. We'll see. We'll see if we need to use it. All right. Let me do it a little more time. Okay, just be careful. All right, so we mixed that. Now we're going to add in our almond butter. Where's our almond butter? I just had it. Oh, here it is. So we're going to open this. And if you need the almond milk, I have some. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're totally going to need the almond milk, but not just right yet. Gracie's barking. I'm going to go see what she's barking at. Hey! Make sure it's... Be nice to your dog. Be nice to your dog. Yeah, Mr. Holden being a silly man outside in the backyard with his dog. He's having a good old time. All right, so actually, I should have grabbed another fork. Here, can I get in here again? Sorry, honey. Um, ooh, good time, Sally, over there. Come on, up. All right, we're just going to mix this around a little bit because the ew, oil so settles on the top of that. So, so it's disgusting. It's not, it's just natural oil. That's all it is. Can I try? Oh, oh. oh these are calling for me. Hold on. Okay, so we have bananas, almond butter, and now I'm adding in, I think it was three tablespoons, yep, three tablespoons of melted and cooled coconut oil. So that's going in. Ew, 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 so disgusting. Yeah. It's not disgusting, it's good for you. All right, now we're going to add in, hold on, but now we're going to add in some almond milk, and we need a quarter of a cup of almond milk. Use our messy cup here from there. We go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't knock that over, okay? That's messy, messy, messy. Tablespoon of sugar. Easy holding. <laughs> Tablespoon of sugar. And half of a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to mix that. Well, I don't see the need to pull hi. up. <laughs> Holden says hi. I don't see the need to pull up my hand. This is pretty. So she said to mix it with a fork until there's, you know, just a few lumps. Well, I've got some lumps, so... All right, so now what we're going to do is then using a spatula, get you a little, you saw how dirty those little hands were? Just him playing outside with his doggy. All right, so we're going to add the flour, the oats, and the baking powder, fold it in, and then we're going to pour half, and then blah, blah, blah. Mommy, that's yep. me. Okay. Ready? We're going to dump this in now. Okay, this is almonds, flour, some oats. And so baking mix, powder. Can I mix it? Oh, hold on. So now all we're going to do is add in half of the batter. Um, I'll say that's about half. 
into an eight by eight greased pan and then it's gonna go into the oven at 350 for 40 to 45 minutes. So this would be considered the banana bread layer. I would. So now we're going to take a tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder and then just mix it in the rest of the batter and then add in a half a cup of those chocolate chips and then put it in the oven. Pretty cool. You here, Holden? I gotta go check on him. So we will see you after this is baked and we have tasted it and fingers crossed it comes out amazing. All right, so this is it. It looks great. See if I can get you guys really in there. So yummy, yummy. Uh, you can see we've had we've had a bit of it already. Um, very moist, um, very chocolatey, um, very banana flavor as well. All in all, with the ingredients of this and the nutrition factors, which just make it even more amazing to me. You can see here 135 calories, the 12 grams of carbs, the sugars, I mean only 6 grams, a little bit of fiber, obviously we've got some vitamins and potassium in there from the bananas, um, but I gotta tell you, this, this recipe is a hit. I will totally be making this again. Um, I'll even go as far as to let them get that in for breakfast. I'm not afraid to say so. All right, guys. Sorry for not so much of the face of, of me and the kiddos. Again, we're totally under the weather, as you can hear from our voice. But we still wanted to get we still wanted to get a video out for you. As always, guys, we love making these videos with you. We love sharing the recipes that we find with you as well. If you like spending time with us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, turn on your notifications, all those wonderful things, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys! <laughs>